I wish I had a ladder. You see, I wish I had a ladder because if I had a ladder, I could reach the things I can't normally get to, like the tops of tall cupboards where everyone seems to keep their pasta. <laughs> Have you ever met someone that hasn't kept their pasta there? I want to ask the one guy once, I want to ask him where he kept his pasta. He said, I'm gluten free. To which I replied, I'm sorry to hear you have celiac disease and that's what he said. No, I just read on the internet that it was healthy and that's when it became apparent. This man has no fucking idea how gluten works in the body. <sighs> sorry. I wish I had a ladder. Wait, no, I wish I had a lot of ladders. A lot of ladders and a ladder collection. That way when I got a new ladder, I'd be adding to my ladder collection. I would be a ladder adder. Adding ladders to a ladder collection, a ladder adding, ladder adding, ladder ladder to a ladder collection, and maybe if I get enough ladders, I could sell and take them together, build something high enough to grab your attention, to grasp at your affections, or maybe while I'm up, I will look for directions, because Google Maps does not work well without Wi-Fi connections, and I spy with my little eye something beginning with L. Close. It's love. It's love, I'm not done. It's love. It's love. It's love. Because I fucking love ladders! You could say I'm a ladder addict or a ladder addict, ladder addict, and a ladder store, a ladder collection, and maybe one day I go to one of my ladder addict conventions and meet the girl of my dream, someone who shares my interest in both ladder collection and ladder damage prevention. Because you need to look after your fucking ladders, because we come from Scotland, baby, where everyone's complaining, because the weather's always rainy, and you would need to pay me to leave my ladders out in that rain, because ladders left in the rain will either rot or rust. And one day we be dirt and dust, so I about just the two of us go into that corner over there and we talk about ladders together <laughs> or whatever because maybe you don't like ladders like I do maybe you prefer chess and I guess I can get into chess but my plane style's a mess because I refuse to go any direction other than up and down like a ladder or maybe when we're talking I discover you like walking and I guess I can get into walking because walking is kind of like climbing a ladder except you don't use your hands and the ladder's on the floor and I would adore to try new things with you, explore the places you bring me to, and even if the things we do don't involve ladders, because ladders don't seem to matter when you're around. I think it's like how ladders near each other will just fall to the ground, whereas two ladders to push against each other creates a structure which is structurally sound in one day, when we are old and we are frail. And we can only climb ladders that have ladder handrails. <laughs> Our children might find our ladders. Our ladders, as our ladders gather ladder dust in the attic, and they'll ask about the time that their father was a ladder addict, and they'll say, I wish I had a ladder. I wish I had a ladder like my father had a ladder, and my father was a ladder riding, ladder riding, ladder riding, ladder riding, ladder collection, or maybe they won't like ladders. Or be able to say that that fast at that age. <laughs> maybe they prefer chess like you, and I guess that's okay too, because between me and you, I love you twice as much as I love ladders. If it's a choice between you and ladders, I'll choose ladders never. So how about let's go climb ladders together, or whatever. Thank you.